پروانه قطار بین راه پروانه شد روی لب خشک زائر آن گم صحرا که سالی در راه هی وامند مرد آرام بگیر رؤیای جنگل را روی سنگ وا بگذار این شدنیست چطور قهوه ات روی میز کافه سنجورج سالی دراز سرد ماند و روزنامه روی صندلی پیر شد رؤیایت را خوش کن When we think of Iran, what do we see? Iran is a closed country. What we see is limited. Limited by our medium and by the stories that hold our fascination. One of those stories is of the revolution. During the revolution, we, with another like 30 students of the Tehran Faculty of Fine Arts, we established a political cartoons a workshop. We printed a bunch of um, posters against the Shah. And uh, since we had the, this huge bunch of work, we decided to have a show. Every day, like 5,000 would line to come to the show. By the time we were winding down the show, the revolution happened, you know, everything came down. The, our workshop was destroyed. Most of the posters were burned. It was a terrible, terrible disappointment. You know, we were, we were thinking that we we, we're working for a better society, much open society. Now we, we realize we're losing everything. Iran has long been isolated. Because the global community doesn't know what's going on inside it, a demand has grown for Iranian art. Um, first of all, I've always been aware from the very first moment that I started even painting miniatures. I was like, do I want to be pigeon cornered to being an Iranian artist? You know, I mean, I never really like planned it that way um, but I was always aware of it I never I never really used like that Iranian card to get into things um, but I do think it has has affected or piqued people's interest into my work because I am an Iranian woman living in the United States and I use myself in my work, and then there's nudity in the work. I absolutely know for sure that people are very interested because of that. Because again, there's not a lot of Iranian women that are doing that. A new generation of artists grew up after the revolution and have sought to move beyond it in their work. Take graffiti artists like Aysin Sa whose work addresses themes like economic injustice and homelessness. Shireen Nishat is another famous artist born before the revolution. Her art is known to be political. By living in exile, she's forced to see Iran as we do, 
from the outside. If I'm an artist who has lived for so long outside of Iran, that has so little access to the truth, and everything is about fiction, I would obviously embrace a kind of a language or an expression that is it's really highly, highly fictionalized and, uh, and highly away from reality. And, and therefore, in that level of creation, I, can, I will more likely produce work that only at certain level touches Iranian society, but it truly doesn't just speak about Iranian people or to Iranian people, but speaks to the world and about the world. Because Iran has been closed for so many decades, Iranian art was largely overlooked by the international art scene. Due to these political reasons, the Iranian artist was Iranian art was neglected and was forgotten. Not that not that Iranian didn't produce art, they, they did, but uh, they were trapped in, inside the country or they were not looked at uh, in, in the, by the Western world and Western organization. Uh, they weren't that much interest. And so uh, it seems that there is, uh, the doors are opening up and they are uh, starting to realize that uh, there is a, there is an art in Iran, and there is a contemporary art, and there is interesting art. Like all artists, Iranians are influenced by their cultural heritage. But their art is global, more than simply Iranian. Do you think that you would be as well known as you are if you weren't Iranian? I think the strength of my work is not just because I'm Iranian. The way that it's conceived and is presented and the way it affects people emotionally. Um, I mean, it's almost like saying, if William Kentridge is only powerful because he's South African. I mean, I think it's almost like borderline insulting um, because I think, um, of course, every one of us are from some country. Jeff Kuhn is American. Would he have been um, as well known if he was not American? I mean, I think it's such a benign issue. But for many artists, it's not so benign. Many aren't able to return to Iran and yet, they carry a heavy burden to represent it. This struggle for identity haunts their work, and for some, defines it. Yeah. That was the last thing that is in the train station waiting for train and to go where go, you don't know. And then suitcase always there, you know, that's part for my life. And um, after uh, long years, I'm not anymore in Iran and that's I don't know where is my home. That is big part for my no identity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 